Today, I will be working on a dancing toothless puppet from the popular How to Train Your Dragon recap animation from YouTuber animator Cass Van Del Pol. Now, I start off this project where the same way that I start many others, in ZBrush, making up a digital design file. First, I created some rough geometry and shapes to get the overall feel and silhouette of the dragon down. A problem that is often encountered with making these very soft and fluid animation characters in 3D is getting the likeness and silhouette down. As for making the rest of the characters design in 3D, I kept it pretty simple to be faithful to the animation. Additionally, keeping the rest of the sculpt low poly and pretty simple made it easier for me to add the necessary joints to make this puppet dance. For a quick overview on the rest of the puppet's design, I used boolean operations to create small channels where I could feed thin 24 gauge wire to create the puppet's joints. I added a ball joint to the top of the head so I could get some more range of movement. I printed all the parts on pressure machines and they came out great. I used 0.4 nozzle for the more intricate and smaller parts and 0.6 for the larger parts. Now that I had everything printed, it was time to begin putting it all together. Now, to be completely honest, putting the wire through all these joints was pretty difficult. However, I would recommend a good pair of needle nose pliers and something cylindrical to pre-coil your wire before adding it onto the limbs. I think that with some patience, this shouldn't be too hard for anyone to get through. First, I would thread the loop through the smaller limb while leaving an opening, I would then thread it through the main body part or the larger limb. The loops do not need to be perfectly closed. You just want to make sure that the opening is small enough so that the parts don't slip out accidentally. Besides that, putting everything together is pretty easy. Just attach the legs to the main body, the tail tip to the tail base, and then to the body, and then the forearm to the bicep. When attaching the forearm and the bicep together, you want to make sure you pay attention to the angles so that you don't accidentally attach something backwards. If you are considering making one of these for yourself and think that the wire part might give you issues, I would recommend scaling up the file to 150 or even 200%. This will make the tolerances a lot less tight and make your time assembling this a lot easier. I added a magnet to the head joint. However, I ended up removing this because the head spins so freely that the puppet ended up turning more into a helicopter. Now that I had everything together, it was time to start thinking about how I would add the fishing line to make this puppet dance. For the arms and tail, I used these jewelry eyelets. These would allow me an easy tying point. I will also add a hole in the file so that way you won't have to drill one yourself. For some final finishing details on this build, Make sure to print out the eyes in an appropriate lime green color. Then, I grabbed a paint marker and I drew on some derpy pupils to the eyeballs. It's okay if these don't come out perfectly centered. I think that adds a lot of character. The last thing I had to make was this controller arm to make the puppet dance. The design of the control arm is an amalgamation from other ones I had found on the internet. This one works pretty well for this puppet. The controller arm has these 4mm holes all throughout it. These holes allow for an easy tying point for the fishing line. However, they are not completely necessary, so don't worry if you don't have them and want to make this build. Attaching the puppet strings to the controller arm isn't too difficult. The string on the tail will go to the furthest point on the controller arm. Then, the back fin will be tied somewhere around the middle. The arms will be attached to either side. Finally, there will be a point to attach the final fin on the head in order to keep the puppet upright. Now that I have everything together, what do you think? Looks pretty good, right? Once you have it all together, make sure to put on some music and start dancing. Would you print out one of these puppets? Let me know. The STL file will be linked in the description. If you do print out one of these, make sure to tag us on social media or let us know in the comments so that we can check it out as well. Thank you for watching this video, I really appreciate it. If you liked it, please consider subscribing and commenting. If you want to find more whimsical and fun STL files just like this one, feel free to check out our Patreon. 
We currently have over 25 STL files that are ready to print. If that sounds interesting to you, or you know someone who would be interested in that, please let them know. The support really goes a long way.